I think the board was great. We set up a, um, a crisis response that the only time that I would be called would be if the acting executive director, who was my associate director at the time, and the board president both deemed that we need to call Patty on this one. And they really didn't need to call me. So I felt whatever little things came up, they handled it. Uh, and the board, they had their board meetings. The committees functioned. It was a pretty good, uh, pretty good experience for the organization. And I think the board learned some things too that they also could function without me there. And I think that's really important. That's impacted the way I've led since then uh, in terms of really focusing on team leadership, uh, developing other leaders at the organization, and making sure that the, there, are, there's, there are other leaders at the organiz at, on the staff that interface with the board, that everything doesn't just go through the executive director. The board was really, uh, they had to step up to the plate and take more responsibility and really support the staff and particularly the uh, person that was in charge while I was gone. So they were more than willing to do that and I was fortunate to really have a, a great board at the time. The board coped very well in my absence. I thought they would be calling me um, every 10 minutes, you know, asking about this issue or the other issue. Um, but they were incredibly respectful of the sabbatical process and, and really allowing me to unwind and recharge my batteries. And I, I, I really thank them for that. Um, and um, the reality was they trusted the fact that we had new leadership um, on staff. Um, they worked with her very, very closely. Um, and they didn't bring me into it. And so there really were no major glitches at all.